through math and science. In this video, I'd like to talk about how to solve inequality word problems. So let me first fill in the blank here, the steps for solving these problems, and then I'll work two examples. Okay, first what you'll do is you'll identify the numbers that you are going to use from the problems. Then you'll identify the operation needed to solve, and then you will solve the problem, and then you'll start by writing a variable, okay, and then you'll write the inverse operation of what you did, okay, to find the solution. Then you'll fill in the numbers from the original problem and the inequality symbol, okay, and so let's go ahead and work through a couple examples, and finally, your solution should not be part of the inequality. The variable is in place of the solution. So let's work these steps and solve a problem. Okay, so here's our first problem, and it says Noah scored at least 12 points more than Scott scored. Scott scored 15 points. How many points did Noah score? So let's first start by identifying the inequality, and our word is at least, and at least tells me that it's going to be greater than or equal to. Okay, next I'm going to circle the numbers. We have a 12 and we have a 15. Okay, so I next need to solve the problem. And it says that Noah scored 12 more than Scott. So I'm going to go Scott scored 15, Noah scored 12 more, so he scored 27. Okay, and so you want to know how many points did Noah score, okay? And Noah scored at least 12 more than Scott. So there's some um, wiggle room there. So next, what it says is we're going to write an X first, and we're going to write the inverse operation, which is subtraction. Then we are going to write the numbers, and I'm going to write 12 first plus the inequality sign that we came up with, and then the other number. So that is one solution, or we could write 12 minus 15, greater than or equal, put the inequality sign, and then 12. So either one of those. So those are your solutions. Let's work one more. It says, yesterday's high temperature was 80 degrees. Tomorrow's Weather forecast, forecast includes a high temperature that is no more than 12 degrees. What high temperatures are forecast for tomorrow? Let's first identify the inequality. It says includes a high, high temperature that is no more than. No more than. And no more than is going to be less than or equal to. And next we will circle our numbers. We have 80 and 12. Now we need to find a solution. It says, let's begin, we have a high temperature of 80 and that it is no more than 12 degrees warmer. So it's going to be at least 12 degrees warmer, so I'm going to add 12 and that will give you a solution of 92. Okay. So now I need to go ahead and write this out. I'm going to start with X, put in the inverse operation, which is addition, so I'm going to use subtraction. Use the numbers. I'll write 80 first, put in the inequality sign, and then write the other number on the other side. And then, or, do x inverse operation minus 12 less than or equal to 80. Okay, I hope that helps in solving inequality word problems. Just follow the steps. And Moo Moo Math and Science uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.